Getting to Full Sail uh, was about a three-year journey for me. I worked about three or four different jobs just to save the money I could to get here. And those jobs were anything from working security at the arena, because that was the closest thing I could do to get into the business, to recycling carpet padding, because I was so driven and I knew what I wanted to do, that I was willing to work the hours to the point where you really debated, do I shower or do I sleep? that really prepared me for the schedule here at Full Sail and for the entertainment industry in general. While I was in school, I loved lighting and there really wasn't a much of it at the time. When I wasn't in school on the weekends, I was doing lighting for other companies on the side, whether it be Tampa or Orlando here locally. By the time it came time for my actual lab for lighting, I was actually the student who was setting it all up for my class. There's been great people who have helped me out along the way, some incredible production managers. You know, people who see where you are and see the drive that you have. Bob Peterson, who I met starting very early in my career. I would find the ways and the opportunities to really ask him questions and try not to be annoying. But he was very gracious in answering the questions I had and really kind of took me under his wing into anything I wanted to know he would share with me. Curiosity. And, and volunteering were, were characteristics that Brian had very present right away. Uh, if we'd be in a programming session where normally the technical crew would be sitting backstage and just waiting it out, Brian would come and uh, watch and uh, ask questions when it was appropriate and, and uh, involve himself uh, as much as he could to learn every bit of uh, what the whole process was. He really helped cultivate me from a technician up to a programmer into a designer and really showed me along the way of you know, how to do things, how to make things look great, not only physically in front of you, but on camera as well. I think Brian's growth is attributed to his curiosity, but also a desire to always make things better. Um, and he's realized uh, pretty early that you can only do so much on your own. So if you involve yourself through camaraderie and teamwork, you can collectively raise the level of the project. Uh, out on tours, for example, he's not just video directing and switching and calling cameras. He's actually working with the lighting department, the band roadies in terms of where things are placed, even audio uh, to make sure that they're collectively raising the bar of the entire project. And I think this is uh, what's led him into a director's chair. Being inducted into the Hall of Fame, uh, when I found out was quite shocking. Uh, honestly, I felt like I was never at the level that previous inductees were at. I saw other peers of mine be inducted. Um, I saw Dylan Dresda, who I was in class with, and we worked side by side. And Jeremy Vickery, who was my roommate going to school here. And uh, Tyke Santos, who I've toured with. So I knew very closely people who have been inducted. To be inducted into that class and that fraternity with peers and friends who I already had was really, really great as well. It's never the motive. It's never to, to be inducted into the Hall of Fame. It's not why I do what I do. I just do what I do because I love what I do.